we are into the discussion on the topic cyclical curves under cyclical curves we are going to construct epicycloid this is the seventh solved problem we are discussing under cyclical curves now we are entering into the problem the problem which we are discussing now is a end semester examination problem and it was asked in the year 2023 in this examination paper we are going to discuss second question the given problem is draw an epicycloid of circle of diameter 50 mm which rolls outside a circle of diameter 180 mm for one revolution also draw a tangent and normal to the epicycloid at a point 135 mm from the center of the directing circle now we will analyze and extract the data from this given problem before analyzing and extracting the data from the given problem we'll read the problem once again the given problem is draw an epicycloid of a circle of diameter 50 mm which rolls outside a circle of diameter 180 mm for one revolution also draw a tangent and a normal to the epicycloid at a point 135 mm from the center of the directing circle this is the directing circle its diameter is 180 mm its center is o this is the rolling circle its diameter is 50 mm p is the point on the circumference of the rolling circle this rolling circle rolls on the circumference of the directing circle for one complete revolution and outside the directing circle with that point p moves to p dash then the path traced out by a point p on the circumference of the rolling circle is going to be a epicycloid now we will write the data here the name of the curve to be constructed is epicycloid the diameter of the directing circle that is capital d is equal to 180 mm the radius of the directing circle that is capital r is equal to 90 mm the diameter of the rolling circle which is also called as generating circle denoted by small d is equal to 50 mm the radius of the rolling circle that is small r is equal to 25 mm the angle subtracted by the arc p p dash at center o is to be calculated by using the formula small r by capital r into 360 degrees here small r is equal to 25 mm capital r is equal to 90 mm after substituting these values in this equation then angle subtracted by the arc p p dash at center o is equal to 25 by 90 into 360 degrees which is equal to 100 degrees another data supplied in the problem is to draw a tangent and a normal to the epicycloid at a point 135 mm from the center of the directing circle based on this data we will start the construction of epicycloid based on the data we are into the construction of epicycloid here the radius of the directing circle is given as 90 mm and the radius of the generating circle is given as 25 mm with o as a center directing circle radius say 90 mm as a radius draw a line op with op length that is directing circle radius as radius draw path of the directing circle the angle subtracted by the arc pp dash at center o is calculated as 100 degrees after that extend op further and then locate a point c on op extended line so that cp length becomes the radius of the generating circle after that cp that is radius of the generating circle draw generating circle 
divide the generating circle into 12 equal parts division of the generating circle into 12 equal parts can be done either with protractor or with compass here total angle subtended by the circle is 360 degrees we are dividing circle into 12 parts each part angle becomes 30 degrees now by using the protractor i am dividing the circle into 12 equal parts One, two, three, four, five, etc. Are the division points on the circle. Let P be the generating point on the generating circle. In one revolution of the generating circle, point P will move to a point P dash, so that the arc P P dash equal to the circumference of the generating circle. As we divided this generating circle into twelve equal parts, we need to divide the arc P P dash also into twelve equal parts. Here, the angle subtended by the arc P P dash with center O is hundred degrees. We need to divide this hundred degrees into twelve equal parts. Each part angle becomes. Eight point three three degrees. Measuring the angle eight point three three degrees exactly with protractor is not possible. So we'll use trial and error method for dividing the arc, say P P dash into twelve equal parts. Before that, first we'll divide P P dash into two equal parts. Then first part is to be divided into six equal parts. As total angle is hundred degrees, if you divide hundred degrees into two parts, then each part becomes fifty degrees angle. First, we will divide the arc P six into six equal parts by trial and error method. We will divide the arc P six into six equal parts by trial and error method. Here, each part angle is. 8.33 degrees. It's not possible to measure 8.33 degrees directly with protractor. So first we'll take angle between 8 to 9 degrees. Draw division point on the P6 arc. Now with compass, with this radius, draw arc one. Two, three, four, five, six. So it is going out. That means we need to reduce the radius. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Again, it is not touching sixth division on the arc. So again, we need to increase the radius. Before that, take radius in between earlier drawn two arcs. One, two, Three, four, five, six. So this is first division. This is second division. This is third division. This one is fourth. This one is fifth, and this one is sixth. With the same radius. We'll divide the arc six p dash also into six equal parts. One, two, three, four, five, and this is 
सिक्स से सेवेन एट नाइन टेन लेवेन एंड दिस इज ट्वेल्व दिस मेथड ऑफ डिवाइडिंग दि आर्क इंटू ट्वेलव इक्वल पार्ट इज कॉल ट्रेल एंड एर मेथड with o as a center o6 as a radius draw an arc on to the extended portion of op dash line for drawing longer arcs with ordinary compass change the position of the pencil like this so that this radius becomes more similarly with o5 as a radius O as a center, draw an arc. Similarly, with O four, O three, O two, and O one as radius, draw arcs. Then, with O as a center, O C as radius. Draw locus of path center arc. And name this point as D. Here CD is the locus of path center arc. Then join O and one and extend towards. CD arc and name the point on the CD arc as C1 similarly join O2 and extend towards CD arc and name the point on the CD arc as C2 similarly repeat the procedure for the remaining points The locus of path center arc CD is not coinciding with the arc drawn with O3 as radius with O as center. Make a note: all these lines are construction lines, and even these arcs are also construction arc. So these arcs as well as lines are with 3H pencil with a darkness of 25%. Then take CP, that is rolling circle radius, as a radius. C1 as a center draw an arc on first division arc and name this intersection point as P1 similarly with C2 as center rolling circle radius as radius draw an arc on the second division arc in order to get the point P2 similarly repeat the procedure With C3, C4, C5, etc. as centers, and radius is rolling circle radius. To get the point C, P3, P4, P5, etc. passing through p p1 p2 p3 etc draw smooth curve while drawing free hand curves we should not hold the pencil tightly we have to hold the pencil freely and also we need to maintain some distance from the tip of the pencil so that we can move the pencil freely for drawing free hand curves this is the required curve that's why we need to draw this curve with h pencil with a darkness of 100% this smooth curve is called epicycloid 
next step is drawing normal and tangent to the curve with a distance of 135 mm from the center of directing circle now take 135 mm as a radius with o as a center draw an arc on epicycloid and name the point on the arc as m with m as a center cp as radius draw an arc on locus of a center arc and name the point on the locus of a center arc as q join o as well as q and this oq line intersect the directing arc at this particular point and name this point as n join n as well as m this is the required line that's why this line to be drawn with h pencil with a darkness of 100% perpendicular to this line draw another line passing through point m here this is tangent and this one is normal here the normal and tangent are drawn with h pencil with a darkness of 100% then we'll do the dimensioning Related to the dimension details, the diameter of the generating circle is 50 mm, the radius of the directing circle is 90 mm and the tangent point is at a distance 135 mm from the center of the directing circle. Here all the dimensions are in millimeters. Related to the pencil uses, the construction lines are drawn with 3H pencil with a darkness of 25% whereas this epicycloid normal and tangent are with h pencil with a darkness of 100% here in this particular problem the angle subtracted by the arc pp dash with center o is 100 degrees dividing 100 degrees into 12 equal parts directly with protractor is not possible with that we used trial and error method this particular problem is very very important and it was asked many times under university examinations with that i am advising you to practice the construction procedural methodology from beginning to the ending with perfection